Wonder. Uh, Mark, you had a few of these sequences, but the one that really stood out was the five passes, basically. They got all the way around the court uh, from the right corner over to the left. And uh, h- how do those plays maybe affect uh, your ability to win tonight, just the, the extra passes that you guys made? Yeah, I thought we really moved it. It was a good response to the Indiana game where I thought we, for whatever reason, we couldn't establish a great rhythm in the game. Uh, and that's the sort of thing we want to get back on track very quickly. We can't control whether or not the ball goes in, but we can control how we play. And I thought offensively how we played tonight was had great integrity to it. And then defensively, it seemed like you guys got enough stops down the stretch to, to just shut the door. How much of a challenge was it tonight that they just continue to put pressure on you, and, and what did it take in the end to, to pull away? Yeah, I thought credit how they played. I thought they played with a chip on their shoulder tonight, and they played very hard. Uh, Dallas did. Um, yeah, honestly, I thought you know we were a little um, loose to start the game defensively, uh, and I thought it was a good opportunity for us to learn a lesson because a guy like Irving, his first couple you know he got were kind of just like standard you know plays uh, where we weren't as tight as we could have been in our coverages and in our de- you know help defense, uh, and then he got going you know and I thought it was a good lesson for us uh, to take away from that game that. You know, he's probably going to get going to some degree anyways, but you can't give a player like him uh, the easy stuff or the early rhythm. Uh, and I thought we could have done that better tonight. So um, certainly something we can continue to learn from. Mark, I, I know there are layers to these games, um, but down a stretch, like in a fourth quarter like that, how often do you see it maybe be as simple as, you know, stars being stars, like shot making from, from maybe Shea or, or Dub when, when it feels like both teams are going back and forth, maybe canceling each other out? Uh, I mean, everybody says it's a shot making thing, but um, to some degree it is, you know, and then to another degree, offensively, it's about trying to put uh, your team in advantages and and put your guys in space that makes it difficult to help or difficult to get the matchup you want defensively. And then defensively, it's the inverse of that. You know, you're trying to restrict space. You're trying to take the ball out of the hands of uh, the best guys. Uh, and I thought both teams tonight, you know, did a good job of generating pretty good shots down the stretch uh, for their team. And so uh, it's not easy, but to me, that's the that's the battle. Yeah, and off the top of my head, I don't know that either of the, the previous games with, with Dallas have been as close in terms of free throw attempts and, and makes. I imagine t- tonight's uh, kind of similarity there is um, part, you know, Luca not playing. But I, I just wonder what you saw from Shea in terms of the way he kind of controlled the game there and, and maybe got to the line. Yeah, I mean, he got fouled, you know, so that's why he got to the line. Um, and I thought, again, he was good in his attacks. Um, we were good in our spacing, good in our actions tonight. I thought offensively we played very well. You know, we had good balance. Uh, ball moved, you know, good pace to us, you know, really, really good offensive game for us. And like I said, a really good response to, um, you know, the way we played the other night. Andrew Schlecht with the Athletic. You get Jalen Williams back tonight. He obviously is bringing a lot offensively and defensively, but can you just talk about, like, the energy that he brings? He obviously brings a great energy um, amongst, like, the crowd even, but, like, can you just talk about maybe the energy he brings to the team? Yeah, um, it comes from how hard he plays. It's really that simple. And uh, as you know, it's interesting to see guys. You know, that get a lot of minutes. Um, that can bite into your effort and energy over the course of a long season. And when you get the ball more, that can bite into your effort and your energy. Uh, and that's kind of human nature. You know, when you get more of those things, you pace more um, in the energy parts of the game. And to his credit, you know, his energy started very high, his effort started very high. And as he's, you know, he didn't start when he first got here, you know, but as he's accumulated a bigger role and earned a bigger role, uh, and as he's gotten the ball more, as he's earned having the ball more, you know, his energy, his defense, his effort, his intensity, none of that stuff has dropped off. And that's, you know, to me, that's a very striking, you know, signal. You notice that you guys... Go ahead. I'm Notice that you guys are like getting better as the seasons are progressing. You haven't made a playoff run with this group just yet. This is a foray into the playoffs. Just do you notice just guys starting to peak right at the same time, all the way six, seven, eight, nine down? Uh, I just I think we, you know, are trying to continue to improve, um, and the improvement of the team is not linear like that. You know, you take steps forward, you take steps backwards. So offensively, the air night against Indiana, I thought we took a step backward. 
had to address that. It was a little bit of slippage, I thought, tonight to start the game. Game plan awareness, we had a little slippage. So it's it's not like a linear ascent through the season. You know, you're constantly – it's really hard to be really good at everything. You know, so you're constantly doing things well that you have to maintain, and you're constantly, you know, having slippage that you have to address. And we're just trying to do that as best we can. And, you know, over time, hopefully – that gets our team and our individual players improving. Anybody else? Andrew? She had 31 again. Life is consistent. Where have you seen that? Um, he's in character on that. You know, I, I can stamp that. I think, um, you know, a lot of it we don't see. You know, we're only with them three hours a day usually. So, um, but, you know, you can't fake the improvement that he's had and how consistently he's improved. And as you improve, you know, the league adjusts to you and they try to make it harder on you. And he's continued to just plow through those those obstacles, you know, and it, there's only one way to do that. And it's with, you know, great work, great, you know, consistency of that work, great vision for yourself. He's got all that stuff. You know, he's a very impressive uh, professional. I imagine you were satisfied with just the way the two challenges went but there was a there was a call there late in the fourth the uh, the push call with with dub on Kyrie um it felt like you were looking intently on that play in a world where you might have had another challenge like do you ever think about you know what the what the rule change might be if there ever might be a rule change there what you would do with it if you would be in agreement with that no getting another challenge yeah we're, we're, what play are you talking about dub push Kyrie um well was said to push allegedly yeah Thank you. <laughs> uh yeah that's one you may, you maybe get because you got possession uh afterwards and it's close you know at that point in the game you know if you have a challenge you know the percentage that you need to actually go get a play is not very high you know just because the the reward of getting the ball back especially with a lead that's why i did the out of bounds play before that you know we're up nine they have the ball if you can take one more possession away from them it's pretty high reward and so um but you only get two. Yeah. I guess what I'm asking is, if the league ever explored, you know, more. I, than two I would have challenged that play. Yeah, I would have. I would have gone and gotten that one probably. Sure. Pocket, but then he got back in transition, blocked the shot, and then uh, the dagger dunk. He missed the first three to begin with. Just what does that say about his mentality and just his uh, approach to the game overall? Yeah, similar uh, dub. Yeah, similar to what I said to Andrew. You know, it's the guy just plays. You know, it's it's an impressive motor. You know, and it doesn't matter how much you give him the ball, how many minutes you play him, you know, how much he gets like that. He, he still rolls his sleeves up and competes every single night. It's incredibly impressive um, and has a huge impact on our team, you know, and his, as he's improved those other things, you know, none of that has waned. You know, and like I said, that's you know, unbelievable discipline and, and, you know, motor and competitiveness, all those, you know, adjectives. He's, he's got that stuff. Thanks, Coach. Yep, thanks.